Today's video is about how to go from saver to investor. I am Tiffany Thomas, a financially free millionaire. If you're looking to become one of those, make sure and hit that like button and the subscribe button and we're going to dive right in. I've been talking to quite a few people lately and they are really good at saving their money, but not so good at investing their money. So I want to share my experience on how I was able to go from saver to investor because I was the exact same way. I was really good at saving a lot of my money and not so good at investing my money. But once I made that switch, I was so glad that I did because that is what helped me become financially free and become a millionaire. The first thing that helped me go from saver to investor was actually realizing how much more money I could have by investing that money instead of keeping it in a savings account. I was really worried about losing all of my money when I invested it in the stock market because I had heard stories about people losing their retirement and not being able to retire because the stock market had gone down and their investment account went to zero. I'm sure you've heard a lot of those stories before, and it could be even from your uncle or a cousin, someone that you know personally. But here's the thing, that is absolutely not true. Because while yes, I heard those stories myself, I also heard the stories of people being really successful with investing their money. They were not going broke, they were becoming millionaires, they were becoming multi-millionaires. And it was all because they invested their money, they were not just saving it. I started playing around with a compound interest calculator online, which I will leave a link to one below in the description. I would put in a certain amount that I may have had in my savings account, and then I would have a 1% interest or maybe a 2% interest on that amount. And I would use the calculator to figure out how much money I would have in 10 years, in 20 years, in 30 years. And then I look to see how much the stock market was returning on average, which is about eight to 10%. So I put that in the calculator as well. I put an 8% return and saw the difference on how much more money I would have by investing in the stock market rather than leaving it in a savings account earning one or 2% interest versus that eight to 10% interest. And in hearing these stories, that is the second thing that helped me go from saver to investor. I saw other people being successful with investing. They became an inspiration to me. I have a really good friend who's very successful with real estate. So I started asking him a lot of questions about investing in real estate. He also invests in the stock market. So I asked questions about the stock market as well. And I have another friend who is the same. He's also successful with the stock market and real estate. So I asked him a lot of questions. And then I have a previous boss who's very successful with real estate and I asked him a lot of questions. So just seeing other people be so successful with investing, that really started to make me think, okay, I really need to invest my money. It can be done in the right way and my balance is not going to go to zero. So the third thing that I did was start doing research on my own. I started to figure out how I could invest in the stock market and I ended up buying a couple different stocks and I was watching one stock in particular, it was actually Netflix, this was years ago, but I had seen the stock go up a little bit and then up a little bit more and then it came down and I thought, hmm, maybe I'll buy this because I still believe it's a good company. I think it's going to go back up. So I purchased some Netflix and I saw that go back up and I got nervous. So I did cash some of that money out, but seeing that little bit of success that I was having, I thought, okay, I can do this. And I continued to do more research about the stock market and ended up putting a lot of money into an index fund. And if you wanna know more about that index fund, I have another video for you, so I will leave a link above. But I basically stick with one index fund, and then I do have a few different individual stocks that I think are very good companies. So I actually started investing my own money and seeing my own success. And I also started getting into real estate. Since I had other friends that were successful with that, I thought, all right, I can do real estate. I own my own place. I have roommates, so I have a little experience with investing in real estate. So I bought my second property, which was strictly a rental property. And I just decided to start very small. And that is actually the fourth step that I took. I decided to start small. I didn't go all 
in. And looking back, yes, if I would have gone all in and bought a larger property, I could be making a lot more money. But the thing is I needed to feel comfortable in getting started. And that for me was just starting small. So that investment property was a two bedroom, two bath condo. And I am really glad that I purchased that condo. I was having success with that and thought, oh, I need to buy another property. And I did buy another property. And then I thought, oh, I need to buy one more property that will put me at financial freedom. So I ended up doing that. So I purchased four properties and I had money in the stock market. And I do want to mention that when I purchased my fourth property, I was able to take money from my stock market investments that I had made and put that toward a down payment on my fourth property. So both of those investments were going hand in hand. And just like with investing in real estate, investing in the stock market, I also started small. I just bought one share of one company and then I built up from there. And then the fifth step that I took to go from saver to investor was really to focus on the long term. I stopped being so concerned with what was going on in the short term. Would my stocks go up within a week or within a month? That is not the way to invest. We want to make investments based on the long-term return. And investing in the stock market in a fund that follows the U.S. stock market, that is going to go up over the long term. And also investing in real estate, that will appreciate over time and rent prices will continue to increase over time as well. If I would have kept that short-term mindset, I would not have invested as much as I have because the stock market does go up and down over the short term. So for example, during the pandemic, when all of my investments went way down, if I had that short term mindset, I would have freaked out and sold all of my investments and thought I'm never investing again. But that's not what I did. I thought, oh, this is a great time to invest even more money because I know it's going to go up over the long term. So while the world is consumed with instant gratification and becoming a millionaire overnight, we need to change our focus and focus on that long term. We are going to do a lot better with our investments if we do that. And we can also realize that by keeping our money in a savings account, there is a no way we are going to be able to retire by doing that. We can keep our investing very, very simple and make very, very good returns. If we are leaving our money just in a savings account, that is not even keeping up with inflation. So essentially we are losing money by doing that. We want to make money. We want our money to work for us. And the way we do that is by investing our money. So if we want to be self-sufficient and we want to be able to retire and not have to rely on someone else for money, we are going to need to invest our own money. And not only that, when we invest our money, I am in the age bracket where my parents are getting older and my friend's parents are getting older. So it would be nice if we had some extra cushion to help take care of our parents if we needed to. But if we can't even take care of ourselves, there is no way we are going to be able to do that. Investing our money isn't just focusing on ourselves, it's also focusing on those that matter the most to us. Comment below and tell me if you are going to start investing your money. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and share it with someone else who would like to hear this information. And hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little bell to get notified on when I post new videos. And if you want to see even more content from me, make sure and check out the videos on the side of the screen. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.